So today, we are going to be talking about a future update that is coming to Palworld. They have been giving us a few hints here and there, so we'll be going over every single one, and also talk about some of the other things that are potentially coming with this update. So the first one, and the main reason why I even decided to make this video, is because they actually made a post showcasing the different builds with the community. We have this one, which is basically like a slide that goes down to multiple different buildings, and they eventually land on their bed at the very end. And then we also have this small village, where it looks very simple, but but he did a really good job at decorating and making the overall composition look great. And then this one is a sick looking pirate ship that is actually floating in the sky. I would imagine that having this will make any player nervous because the smallest accident can make the whole thing collapse. So I hope that he knows how to revert back his old save just in case that actually happens. And then the last one is a very popular build that I have actually seen many times because it really is one of the best builds so far. And it's even more impressive considering how big the scale is. But as Aside from the awesome builds that were featured, under this post, they actually mentioned that they will be expanding the building system and they are going to release this alongside with the other things that are confirmed to be coming with this new update. Improving the building system was something that was included in the roadmap but I wasn't really expecting to get any building improvements this early. I was expecting this new update to be more focused on the new Westpal, combat related content, and changes to the different systems that are related to managing your pals. But getting this early on is actually really good because a lot of players love building in this game. They have a lot of options when it comes to what they can introduce to spice up the building in this game, but the one thing that I really want to see are additional building structures and as well as different variations for them. I've been playing a bunch of Enshrouded lately, and the one thing that I really like about this game is that you have a lot of options when it comes to what materials you can use. They have regular wood, stone, they also have refined versions of it, and a bunch of other materials that really help make your builds look more interesting and unique. It would be nice if we got something similar so that we're not using the same old wood, stone, and metal foundations. One more thing that will be a big change to the building system is if they added more variety in terms of the structures that we can build. They can add arches, inverted triangular walls, different versions of doors and windows, pyramid shaped roofs, along with the ones for the corners, and so much more. But on top of the building improvements, we are also getting the much needed system for assigning pals in your base. We have this official image where it shows that you can manage your work assignments using the monitoring stand. You can see the level and sanity for each one of your pals and each one of them will also have a box for each of the tasks that they can do and you will be able to toggle each one of them on or off. This is definitely going to be a massive addition to the game because being able to micromanage the work for your pals is going to be a huge quality of life improvement. And then next up, another thing that will be coming with this update is a new pal slash new raid boss and that is none other than Bella Noir. I'm really excited for this one because combat is my second most favorite part of the game and getting a new pal is just really good especially because Bella Noir is probably going to be a dark type so that inherently gives her an advantage in terms of not needing to sleep whenever she's working in your base. And also looking at the teaser you can see a snowy mountain with a bunch of pillars at the back so this new raid boss is probably going to be located in between the no man's trail and the icy weasel hill waypoints. It's also going to be the perfect time to add another legendary schematic so that there's something to incentivize the players in farming this new boss. We still don't have a legendary schematic for the melee weapons and tools, so adding a legendary sword or pickaxe is something that a lot of players might want to go for. I'm also hoping that this new raid boss will actually not end up being too easy, because if ever that happens, I think it's just going to be underwhelming. I think it's better for it to be very difficult, so that there's something we can work towards beating, especially since Palworld doesn't seem to be getting updates that often. I want it to be on the same difficulty as the Shadow Beak boss fight, if not slightly more difficult. I'll be making another video about how I'm preparing for this new raid boss, so definitely make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so that you don't miss out on that. Also let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you personally want to see in this new update. But with that being said, that is pretty much everything I have for this video. As always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.